Hello everyone and welcome to Cryptics Media. I've got a jaw dropping spine tingling tale that's gonna leave you on awe. Buckle up because we're diving deep into the bizarre world of ants and how they're controlled by parasitic flatworms, also known as lancet liver flukes. You wanna talk about it? Let's get cryptic. Now picture this, you're an ant going about your ant business when suddenly something sinister happens. You lose control of your own mind and it's all thanks to those crafty liver flukes in a twisted life cycle. All right, now catch this. The liver fluke has a life plan that's almost as crazy as it gets. Step one, they infiltrate an ant's brain, effectively turning it into a puppet. The ant that is now under parasitic control does something absolutely insane. It climbs up to the blade of grass and clamps its jaws into the tip. And I know you're over there thinking the first thing I thought as well. Why? Why does it do this? Well, it turns out it does this to increase chances of becoming a tasty snack for bigger critters like cows and deer. It's like a horror movie right in your own backyard. Now, scientists at the University of Copenhagen recently unearthed some shocking truths about these little puppet masters. Well, it turns out they've got a knack for playing the temperature game. When it's cold outside, the infected ants are all about grass blades. But when the sun cranks up the heat, they smartly retreat back down. It's like they got a built-in thermostat. Think of it as a zombie on and off switch, triggered by the temperature. Gee, Mother Nature sure us know how to throw a twist into the mix. Now inside just one infected ant, there could be hundreds of these flukes running the show, but only one of them, the puppet master, makes his way to the ant's brain to wreak havoc on its behavior. The others, well, they're chilling out in the ant's abdomen like an exclusive VIP at a club. Now, when the time is right, the brain controlling fluke goes out with a bang, sacrificing itself for the greater good of its parasitic comrades. It's dedication like you've never seen before. The parasites that pull these sneaky behavior hijacks aren't just creepy, they're the unsung heroes of the food chain. According to researchers, they've been sleeping on these critters for far too long. They're calling the shots in a great circle of life. Historically, parasites have been the undercover agents of the natural world, quietly pulling the strings. But understanding them is crucial because they shape the dynamics of who eats what in the wild. It's a web of intrigue and manipulation that's straight out of a spy movie, I'm just saying. But wait, there's more. This tiny liver flu isn't just hanging out in Denmark, it's a global sensation. These researchers aren't done yet, they're on a mission to uncover the secrets of how these flukes take over an ant's brain, complete with the chemical cocktail that makes it all happen. It's like solving the most twisted puzzle in the natural world. So what's my take on this whole zombie mess of a story? Here it is. First and foremost, this is a tale of the unexpected. We're talking about tiny creatures like ants being manipulated by even tinier parasites. It's a David and Goliath scenario played out in the animal kingdom where these seemingly insignificant organisms exhibit behaviors that are nothing short of mind blowing. It's the audacity for me. The sheer audacity of the liver fluke strategy to hijack an ant's brain and force it into life threatening scenarios is the stuff of science fiction. Yeah, it's happening right under our noses in the natural world, my goodness. Honestly, the complexity of this interaction is awe inspiring. It's a beautiful choreographed dance between two species, each has its own role to play. The ants becoming unwitting actors in a drama orchestrated by the liver flutes, who have evolved over time to carry out parasitic manipulation with astounding precision. My goodness! The fact that the temperature serves as a trigger for the ants' behavior adds an extra layer of sophistication to the intricate ecological performance. Furthermore, this story highlights the vast diversity and complexity of life on Earth. It's a reminder that even the tiniest corners of the animal kingdom, there are mysteries that are waiting to be unraveled. This goes to show how much we still have to learn about the natural world and how it continues to surprise and astound us with its hidden wonders. But what truly makes this story fascinating is its relevance to our understanding of ecosystems and the interconnectedness of all living things. It underscores the importance of studying even the smallest players in the grand scheme of life. By unraveling the secrets of this parasitic relationship, scientists gain insights into the delicate balance of nature and the ways in which species interact to shape their environments. So Monica, there you have it. This story is a testament to the beauty of science and the relentless curiosity of the human mind. It's a reminder that the world around us is full of mysteries waiting to be explored 
and that even in the most unexpected places, we can find wonder and inspiration. So let's keep our eyes wide open to the marvels of the natural world, for there's always another captivating chapter waiting to be written. Now I gotta go. Be sure to subscribe to Cryptics Media, like this video, share if you care, and I'll see you next time. Ow! Oh. And remember, the next time you see an ant hanging on for dear life at the top of a blade of grass, it might not be there just by choice. It could be a pawn in the weirdest, most sinister show Mother Nature ever has to put on. Stay curious, my friend.